write negative two and two thirds as a decimal. So because negative two is the whole number, we just need to convert two over three to a decimal. So we do that by dividing two by three. So three can't go into two, so we have to add a decimal and a zero. Make sure to carry up the decimal. Three goes into 20 six times, which gives us 18. Subtract and we get two, bring down another zero. Three goes into 20 again, six times, which gives us 18. So we notice that there's a pattern and we're gonna keep getting the number six. So we can write this as 0.6 repeating with bar notation and we have to bring over our whole number. So the final answer is negative 2.6 repeating. Write 5 over 12 as a decimal. So to convert this to a decimal, we have to do 5 divided by 12. 12 can't go into 5, so we need to add a decimal and a zero. Remember to carry up your decimal. 12 goes into 50 four times, which equals 48. We get 2, bring down a zero. 12 goes into 20 one time and we get 12. Subtract, we get eight. Bring down a zero. 12 goes into 80 six times. This equals 72. Bring down a zero. 12 goes into 80 six times again. So now we notice a pattern. So this equals 0.416 where only the six is repeating. So we only put the bar over the six.